What's up, Buckeye Nation? Back with another video. Alright, so I haven't really looked at the schedule too much. I know a few of the non-conference. FAU and Cincinnati. I don't know what's going on in the Big Ten just yet. I haven't really looked at who we play. I've looked at the schedule once or twice, but I don't really like have it memorized yet. So I'm going to do a way too early prediction on how Ohio State season is going to go. I say too early because I haven't seen the spring game. We don't even know who's going to be the starting quarterback. Although I'm hearing Fields is taking the majority of the first team reps. So as we all expected, Justin Fields is probably going to be the starting quarterback for Ohio State starting week one. But that probably won't be announced for a while. Alright, so my, my prediction for Ohio State is obviously 15-0, we smash Alabama in the semifinal, and we crush Clemson in the national championship. End of story. Alright, but for real, Florida Atlantic, week one. That's, if that's not a blowout, we got problems. But that game should be a blowout. Ohio State, big. Week two, we got Cincinnati. Now, I'm not sleeping on Cincinnati. I actually think they're a pretty good team. Ohio State should win. But, but don't be surprised if Ohio State struggles a tad bit versus Cincinnati week two. Then we got Indiana. Indiana always gives us problems, but it's a new day, boys. Get what I did there, Ryan Day, it's a new day. I think Ohio State blows out Indiana. Miami of Ohio. Miami of Ohio, solid max school, but they're a max school. Ohio State should dominate that game. Then we got Nebraska. Now Nebraska is a tough game. Ohio State tends to lose a lot, has the last few seasons at least, lose a game that they have no business losing, and Nebraska could be that team. But I would still expect a W there. So sitting at 5-0, week 6 prediction. Michigan State at home. Michigan State is usually a tough matchup. But I think Ohio State just has too much firepower. Just like last year, probably be a defensive struggle. But I expect Ohio State to pull that one out in the end. Week 7 and Evanston to play Northwestern. Northwestern is a good team. But they just do not have the athletes to keep up with Ohio State. I expect that one to be another big win. Just like the Big Ten Championship, I just don't think they're going to have the firepower to keep up either. So I expect a big win in Evanston. Wisconsin at home. Now, this is another tough one. I could see a loss, but I, I, I'd still say I think Ohio State's going to pull this one out. Being at home, that's big. It's always big playing at the shoe, so I, I don't expect Ohio State to lose at home. So, another W there. Maryland, last year Ohio State was sleeping on Maryland. I actually thought last year Maryland was going to give us problems. Maybe not as big as they did. I, I didn't expect to get out of the last pass and they should have beat us. But I recognized last year that Ohio State really struggled with speed. And Maryland is fast, so... That should be a good game again. Luckily, it's at home this time, so I think Ohio State should get the W there. Rutgers, at Rutgers, that's definitely a blow. I'm sorry, Rutgers is just not good. We should never, they should have never been in the Big Ten. We should have went somewhere else. Rutgers is trash. Big win there, big blowout, just like it always is. Penn State in Columbus. I hate Penn State. Man, their fans are annoying. That's a W. Fuck Penn State. Outside Michigan, they're my most annoying fan base. So, W against Penn State. No problem. And then the big one. In Ann Arbor. Against Michigan. The game. That's going to be a tightly contested game. It usually is. Last year. Man, last year was so great. I thought last year was going to be close. I thought we'd win, but man, hanging 63 on the number one defense, hell yes. We own Michigan anyway, so I'm not worried about that game too much. I think Ohio State owns real estate in all their heads, and I love it. But anyways, realistic prediction, I think Ohio State goes 11-1. and 
at worst, makes the playoffs, wins the Big Ten. I don't know. I'm feeling real good about the Ryan Day era, man. Honestly, no offense to Urban. Urban is one of the best coaches of all time. Me, I felt those first three games under Ryan Day, the team looked so much better than they did when Urban came back. I love Urban Meyer, but man, he is too... The man was too stubborn. I mean, if he didn't... If he made Dwayne Haskins run a Tim Tebow, JT Barrett type scheme. Like, man, if you got... If you got Peyton Manning, you don't make him be Steve Young, man. Let him sling that ball. Give this video a like. Leave a comment below. What's your season predictions? Who do you think is going to be starting quarterback? What's your thoughts on Ryan Day? Anyways, I'm out Buckham Nation. See you next video.